Hey everyone. I am doing an update because I've had lots of messages and concern for Ammon and for me because of the last video I did. Um, we'll wait for a few people to join. And then if you have any questions you wanted to ask me, I would love to answer them if I have the answers to them. Hey, Sonia. Okay, so I see I have some viewers. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everybody for everything you've done. The phone calls. I know I always start out my whatever my live feeds this way because I'm grateful. I, every single one of you matters. Every single one of your phone calls and the way you're um, helping matters. It, everyone might be doing something different, but it matters. And I want you to know that. I'm grateful. Um, I know that if it weren't for the phone calls, my husband probably would have been in there a lot longer than, than um, 13 hours. So I'm really grateful for, for your phone calls. I'm grateful for, for your prayers. A ton of us fasted this last Sunday, probably more than I even know. And I just wanted to thank you for that. I know that that's a sacrifice, and I'm grateful. Um, we're, by now, we should be professionals at starving ourselves, right? <laughs> um, but I wanted to touch base, because I've talked to Ammon a few times um, every day since, um, I think, Saturday was the first time I've talked to him, but every day since Saturday. Um, but he is, hey, Yolanda, he's okay. He's tough. Um, I have to believe that God made him that way because he knew what was in his future. And thank goodness for prayer and for the... Um, for the relationship that we have with our Heavenly Father. So don't you think for one minute that your prayers didn't count because they did and they continue. Um, I was just laughing with my sister-in-law, Brianna, about how when our, when our husbands come home, our kids are stopped, probably going to still pray for them because they've been praying for a year and a half now for their dads. And... Um, Oh, what a joyous reunion that will be. I haven't given up hope, um, especially since this has happened. I think a lot of attention and light has been brought to um, the jail and to what's really going on. I want everyone to know that um, even though this did happen to Ammon, this is happening to a lot of men and women. And in that very jail that my husband and, and our men are held in, a man died yesterday. And that's pretty scary. That poor man and his family. I, I pray for them. That they might have peace and comfort. Um, so Ammon, is, is, he's okay. He's still in solitary. They keep saying that he's violating policy. I don't understand it. I don't understand how he can violate policy when he doesn't talk to anyone. Um, he Apparently he violated... Thank you, Lindsay. Um, he violated policy because he covered his light in his room so that he could sleep. I don't know what that means. I don't know if the light's on 24-7 and he doesn't ever get to sleep. And so he covered it so that he could have some, um, so it could be dark, a little bit, you know, not so bright. I, I don't know. I don't know what that means, but he got written up for that. So um, these are the policies that he's breaking, and, and it's just like jury nullification it doesn't the punishment doesn't fit the crime I don't think and um, anyway so that's an update if he's getting written up for other things he doesn't know so um, and they're 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 attacking him they are targeting them just like Pete Santilli said um, I love you too Lindy and Diane um, we, I just want to thank everybody that's down there at the jail that's protesting. I, I really, really am really so grateful. 
if I lived there, I would have been there by now. But I live in Idaho, forever away, and I really did consider, and I'm still maybe considering, going down with Sarah. But right now, I absolutely would sit in that um, three by three simula simulation that BJ built. I would do it so that um, I could experience a little bit of what my husband endured. Hey, William. Um, I would do it and I would do it probably for 13 hours as hard as it would be. But right now, it's just not where I should be right now, okay? I've got some kids and they have four out of the six kids have responsibilities between Friday and Sunday. And um, I'd love nothing more than to go down and see my husband on Mother's Day because he always made Mother's Day wonderful. Always. And I'm grateful for that. Um, anyway, so... I, I have thought and I have prayed about what to do and how to address this. I still want to go down, but I think Sarah is still planning on. So if we could, if Sarah can be my proxy, because she, she knows me, she knows our family, she's here. Um, I've cried many times on her shoulders for, love you too, Casey, um, to get through each day. And um, anyway, so she said if she gets 100 people to sponsor her, then um, we'll she'll go down. So if she can be my proxy, then would you guys donate for her in lieu of me? Um, I need to be here for my kids. I need to be, the responsibility needs to be, um, they're my first priority. And I do believe that that is exactly what um, Ammon and... God want right now. Um, I just want to thank everybody for all your donations and for, I mean, I do believe the only way we'll get this worked out is good lawyers and God and um, ultimately God actually. And I think the lawyers will be, will work as tools in um, the hand of our heavenly father. So I'm trying to make this quick because a lot of people say the quicker it is, the better. Um, I have so much to say. Um, if you have any questions, ask them. Where I don't know how long he's going to be in solitary. That's that's a common question. Uh, I I hear the law is they're supposed to shower every other day. That didn't happen in 40 days time. So I don't really know if they're. Uh, just not adhering to the rules or trying to punish him, them, Ryan and Ammon for worse things. <clears throat> um, the other thing I heard was that five days was the maximum, was supposed to be for solitary, and he was in, they were in for between 38 and 40 days, Ryan and Ammon. Um, and I know Ryan Payne was in for over five days too. So I'm just, I'm trying to understand all this. I'm not a lawyer and I don't know the rules. Um, I think it's good for us to continue to petition our Heavenly Father and ask for his help. Um, as awful as is what Ammon endured, I think that it was maybe... God's way of bringing light to many, to justice in a way that hasn't, nobody has um, paid attention to. Okay, okay, Gavin. Gavin said he talked to Ammon tonight and they're going to try to push to get him out of solitary. Um, I've talked to a few radio show people in the last couple of days and I'm kind of excited about that because um, these people are in the east and so they can get the message out um we live in the west and they'll get the message out over there and i know i i've probably received letters from every single state in the united states of america and i just want to thank everyone for that i read your letters i read them to ammon so he gets them oh that was the other thing i wanted to tell you is 
Ammon and Ryan, and I don't know if any of the other guys, but their, their commissary has been suspended for months. So he hasn't, what happens is, is they're barely getting fed. And he said, by the time we're done eating, we're still hungry. But we don't have um, our, they've suspended our commissary. Um, so usually they make up the calories in buying, the, in buying through commissary. And the, uh, Ammon and Ryan's commissary has been suspended. So they have money on their commissary, but they're not allowed to order through it. So they're literally starving them. Um, they're not getting the required calories needed for a regular adult 40-ish man. And we wonder why they're, they, look, they look thin. I mean, I haven't seen them since April or March, end of March. And many people that have seen him, well, I guess the couple people that have seen him, including our lawyer, I hear, has said that he looks um, really thin. And that, anyways, that just makes me sick to even think about. Because they're, I mean, they're so, they're so malnourished and their bodies are atrophy and, uh, anyways... You know, when I talk about this kind of stuff with Ammon, I, I really think that they're on the other side glorifying in their sin. Like they're glad that that Ammon and his wife are crying because they miss each other. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is we need to be better. We need to try to be better. More empathetic towards human life. I have had so many people mention about how anything that's got, gone on in, in the jail is deserved. And, um, okay, Lindsay, I will mention Jill Robertson. Jill Robertson, 78-year-old Navy vet, um, thrown in jail for 18 months because he built a pond on his, um, you know, on his property because supposedly he didn't get the correct permits. Navy vet, served our country, fought for our freedoms, and they target, they're targeting our, our military. Anyways, so empathetic. If we can just try to be a little bit more empathetic towards our neighbor, to our friend, towards our friends, towards our family members, I struggle, guys. I do. I struggle. And I'm okay. I mean, you saw me at my, the worst of my worst. You know, it had been a long day. I was worried about my husband all day long. I was on the phone all day long and trying to talk to kids. So my hair wasn't done and my makeup wasn't done and I looked tired because I'm always tired. <laughs> I don't get the sleep that I need. Um, and I won't get the sleep that I need. And I'm not going to sleep well until my husband's home. And I love my marriage. I love to be married. I love to have a family. Um, I think that maybe we live in a world and days where family life is not important and marriage is not important. And that is sad. I am sad by that. I love, I think, family life. I think one of the things we, were, we committed to when we told Heavenly Father that we were going to come down um, to this earth is we would learn to be like Him. And that is to get married and to have children and then to raise those children in a righteous way so that we can watch out for each other and be good neighbors and good people and just make each other better. I mean, I don't really think it was very complicated. I think that, you know, we're here, we're supposed to be here to gain knowledge too. Anyway, so value your marriage. If it's not working, start over with that same person. Try something new. Do it on behalf of me and Ammon. How about that? Um, anyways, I, I just wanted to update everybody. This is the main reason why I'm doing this is there's a lot of people concerned for me. It, if I did do the three by three cell, it would be hard. I won't lie. Um, mentally and emotionally, it would be really hard. When I think about my husband and what he endured for 13 hours, I just, I can't even, 
makes me sick and it makes me emotional. I picture him in that cell and I picture the pain. And anyway, some of the things that he told me, I just, it is torture. I don't care what anyone says. And anyone that says, well, they deserve it. Stop being a crybaby. I can't, that's where the empathy comes from. Like, I cannot believe some of the comments. The heartless people. Heaven forbid that you or anybody is in the same situation. Anyways, I just, thanks everybody for your, um, for your prayers, for your support, for your love, for your service, for your sacrifice, for all the many people that went down to Pahrump that don't even live in Nevada. Thank you. Um, a lot of people have said, well, you know, if Oregon wouldn't have happened, Nevada wouldn't have happened. All I have to say is look at how many lead supporters we have and look at where they're from. Oregon. Oregon. I am grateful for BJ Soper. I am grateful for Kelly. I am. Um, I know Gavin lives in, in Washington. I'm grateful for him. I, doesn't mean we see eye to eye on everything. Not everybody sees eye to eye on what I say or even what Adam says. But we still got to come together in a common cause. So anyways, um, have a good night. Do your best to love one another. Try your hardest to make your marriage work. Because if you don't, the children suffer. And um, do it on behalf of Ammon and I. And if you don't... Um, love me as much as you love Ammon, because we all love Ammon, then um, do it on behalf of him. And then, you know what? Write him and tell him about it. You know, so many times he's like, I wish I could be there to hold your hand and to go for a walk. And our marriage wasn't perfect, but it's worth trying. It's worth trying. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. That's This is something I've definitely realized in this, so... I know this is getting lengthy, so I will cut it off, but I wanted to tell you that Ammon, he is okay. He's strong. I mean, he's not great, and he's not um, amazing, but he's strong, and he's um, reading his scriptures and saying his prayers, and he feels close to God, and um, he actually said, I, I, I am a little bit grateful for that experience because I've got to experience a little bit of what my savior did for me <sighs> anyways really thanks thanks a lot i i would love to message everybody individually and tell you how thankful i am i just i just don't have the time <laughs> i couldn't do it so i'm sorry that you get a general thank you but i want you to know that it, it is it is noticed and my kids opened the mail for me because Sometimes I need them to. Um, and also, thanks, Erin. But I do want to say, you know, when you're trying in your marriage, your kids see it. And they will seek to have that same happiness when they are old enough to, be, get, to get married and have a family. So you're a huge example to them, even though it's hard. Um, just try. Okay. Thanks. Um, yeah, last week sucked. It was pretty much sucky. Hated that. Hated last week. But I felt a little bit of hope three days later. And um, we will just push forward. And I just want you to know that I couldn't do it without all of your guys' love and support. And um, helping each other. Helping my... My sister-in-laws, I think that it would be great if each one of you could donate right now to Mary Lynn Bundy, um, Angie Bundy, Brianna Bundy, and Carol Bundy, because we are getting a lot of attention, and I'm so grateful, but they need help too. And whatever helps Ammon will help everyone in general, but they also need help with their daily expenses. I mean, my poor sister-in-law had to go to work. So, um, anyways, even if it's $25, that's $25 that will feed, that will, you know, feed their children's mouths for, for that long. Um, 
I posted their links on my, thank you Gavin, Gavin's got them right there. They're also, see that's why Gavin's so great. We have to point out the good and focus on that because, <laughs> um, anyway, so it's on my page, but it's also right there, Gavin just posted it. Okay, um, they are my sister-in-laws and mother-in-law, they're great, and they are struggling just like I am. It doesn't get any easier. I thought it would. It doesn't. It gets worse. <sighs> okay. The human touch is so powerful. You don't realize it. Go a week without touching someone, even your children. And as much as I get, you know, hugged and loved by my kids, it's not the same as companionship. So don't take advantage of your marriages. <laughs> Give your spouse a hug right now for me and tell them three awesome things about them because oftentimes we focus on the negative and it's a lot easier to do that. But it's time to start focusing on the positives. Three things. In fact, three things a day. Tell them that you're grateful for that they do. Or, I don't know. Something, something positive that they did. It, 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 and it can include your kids. It has to be that they individually did. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. Um, we will continue to pray on behalf of these men that they can be brought home and that this evil and wickedness can cease to, to happen anymore and that our men can just be brought home. I would love... I would love a phone call from the warden who still hasn't called me back or from the sheriff who still hasn't called me back. So I guess tomorrow I'm going to be making a phone call. But I am not going to be satisfied with lip service anymore. I want to see I want to see action and I want to see people uh, who say they care and they're going to try. I want to see it with my own eyes. So um, if God asks you to do something, please do it and love your spouse. Tell them three great things about them and give them a hug and do it on behalf of me or Ammon or both of us. And um, I hope you have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.